Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on flow over a flat plate using open foam. In this tutorial, I will teach you about geometry of the flat plate, changing the grid spacing and meshing, post processing results in Paraview and visualizing using vector plots. To record this tutorial, I am using Linux operating system Ubuntu version 12.04, open foam version 2.1.1 and Paraview version 3.12.0. Flow over a flat plate is a fundamental problem in fluid mechanics. We can visualize the growth of the boundary layer. Boundary layer is a very thin region above the body where the velocity is 0.99 times the free stream velocity. This is the diagram of flow over the flat plate. The boundary conditions are given as follows. You have the inlet, the plate, top which is the far field and outlet which is the pressure outlet boundary. The free stream velocity u is 1 meters per second and we are solving this for a Reynolds number re equal to 100. Now let us go to the home folder. In the home folder, click on the open form folder. Then go to the run directory. You will see tutorials. Click on it. Scroll down and then click on incompressible. Scroll down. You will see the simple form folder. Click on it. This solver suits our case. In this, create a folder by the name flat plate. Right click, create new folder, flat plate. Now let us open the pitch daily case. Let me zoom this. Copy the three folders, zero, constant and system. Copy this. Now let us go one level back. Paste these three folders inside the flat plate folder. Open the constant folder and then the polymesh folder. Change the geometry and boundary condition names in the block mesh dict file. I have already made the changes. Let us open the block mesh dict file. Scroll down. The geometry is in meters. We have set the dimensions of the flat plate. You can see the simple grading. It is kept as 131 as we need a finer mesh near the plate. Now close this. Go two levels back. Similarly, make changes in the boundary condition names inside the files in the zero folder. These files have pressure, velocity and wall functions. To calculate the values of wall functions, Please refer to the earlier tutorial in the open form series. Let us go one level back. The systems folder can be kept default. Let us close this. Now let us open the terminal window. In the terminal window type run and press enter. Now type cd space tutorials. Press enter. Now type cd incompressible. Press enter. Now type cd space simple foam, press enter, now type ls and press enter. We can see the flat plate folder, now type cd space flat plate and press enter, now type ls and press enter. You can see the three folders, zero constant and system. Now we will mesh the geometry. We are using a coarse mesh for this problem. Meshing can be done by typing block mesh in the terminal. Press enter. Meshing has been done. Note that if there is some error in the block mesh file, it will be shown in the terminal window. To view the geometry, type paraform and press enter. After the paraview window opens, on the left hand side of the object inspector menu, click apply. We can see the geometry. Close the paraview window. Let me switch back to the slides. The solver we are using here is simple foam. Simple foam is a steady state solver for incompressible and turbulent flows. Let me switch back to the terminal window. In the terminal window, type simple foam and press enter. You will see the iterations running in the terminal window. Once the solving is done, type paraform to view the results. On the left hand side of the object inspector menu, click apply to view the geometry. 
scroll down the property panel of the object inspector menu for time step region and fields to view the contours from the drop down menu in the active variable control menu change from solid color to capital u we can see the initial condition of the velocity now on top of the para view window you will see the vcr control click on the play button you will see the contour of pressure or velocity on the flat plate accordingly this is the velocity contour toggle on the color legend to do this click on the color legend icon on the active variable control menu click apply in the object inspector menu in the object inspector menu click on display scroll down and click on rescale to data range let me shift this color legend on top to visualize the vector plot go to the filter menu common cliff go to the properties in object inspector menu click apply on the left hand side of the object inspector menu you can change the number of vectors by changing their size at the bottom also the size of the vectors can be changed by clicking on the edit button the set scale factor can be changed to 0.1 again click the apply button now let me zoom this to do this in the active variable control menu click on the zoom to box option and zoom over any area that you desire we can see the parabolic variation of the vector plots as the flow moves over the plate delete this now delete the vector plot also we can see that the color near to 1 corresponds to the velocity of 0.99 times the free stream velocity we can also plot the variation of velocity along the x and y axis using the plot over data line this brings us to the end of the tutorial in this tutorial we learned geometry and meshing of the flat plate geometry and vector plotting in para view as an assignment create a geometry of flow over the flat plate refine the grid spacing near the plate watch the video available at this url it summarizes the spoken tutorial project if you do not have a good bandwidth you can download and watch it the spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials gives certificates to those who pass an online test for more details please write to contact@spoken-tutorial.org spoken tutorial project is a part of the talk to a teacher project it is supported by the national mission on education through ict mhrd government of india more information on this mission is available at this url This is Rahul Joshi from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.